I was backing up my phone for hours. It kept disconnecting, so I had to reconnect it manually over Wi-Fi. And then my hip flexors were getting really tight and it just felt really uncomfortable, so I had to come out for a walk. It's really funny because I used to hate going out and leaving, especially leaving the house, especially when it was cold, but now I kind of want to get my steps in. I don't know what it was that I ate, but as I was walking, I was getting really bloated and a really uncomfortable stomach. But as I kept walking, I kept farting and my stomach started to feel more comfortable. And that's one of the things I learned about walking. You can look it up on YouTube or Google that walking actually is an effective remedy for bloating. So I'm glad I came out for a walk. Otherwise, I'd be writhing in discomfort. Probably had to pop a few tums if I just stayed at home. Pomegranates taste so good, but you know why they suck? They splatter all over your clothes when you're peeling them, and it takes like 30 minutes to just peel one single pomegranate. Ah. This has been going on for hours, man. Transcoding, and it just won't stop. And it's just no progress. I don't know what's taking so long. I'm not feeling so good. My sore throat is still there. It hasn't gotten much worse than yesterday, but it's uncomfortable. And my body's also feeling a bit weak too. That's why I ended up not practicing flute or working out. But because I was sitting for so long backing up my phone, or at least loading all the music onto my new phone, sitting too long made my hip flexors uncomfortable, which made me go for a walk, so that's good. Walking is not straining at all, so... Walking even when I'm not feeling that good is actually it was totally fine as long as I just bundle up and dress warm By the way, there are some things that I'm disappointed about this Google Pixel phone The fingerprint reader doesn't really work very well So I just disabled it entirely the face detector doesn't work in the dark So it's useless a lot of the times for me and it doesn't have a silence mode separate from do not disturb mode on my Samsung phone I have a silent mode and a do not disturb mode and they do slightly different things depending on what you set your do not disturb mode to be. And I thought the speech to text would be really good but it turns out that's only the case for the voice recording feature, the voice recorder app, it, the, it, the transcript is really good. But for day to day text to speech messaging, it's pretty much the exact same as any Samsung phone or iPhone like Google Voice input. So that's disappointing. I haven't gotten around to using the camera and stuff yet because I'm loading music onto my phone the whole day. So I'm still using my old phone for all the footage that I'm filming. Anyways, after I use this phone for another five or six years, I think I might just switch back to Samsung. My friend Jake and I were talking about Sam Sulek because I brought it up again and I showed my friend Sam Sulek's channel, and he was like, why are so many people watching this guy? I mean, yes, he's buff and he's working out, but it's just so boring. And I was like, yeah, it, it really is boring, and I don't really watch his videos either because they're boring. And then he said, I think it's because people are lonely. People are lonely and they don't have friends, so they tune in to Sam Sulek, who's just talking to them uncut for a long time and they just feel like a friend is talking to them so they feel like they're buddies with him and he's doing something inspiring which is working out every single day and posting every single day so my friends Jake and Daniel said the same thing about loneliness being a key factor in reasons why channels like Sam Sulek are just blowing up. So that was a pretty interesting topic. Also, a side note, I noticed that Sam Sulek posted his video about 4.30 p.m. or something like that. So he works out and films himself late into the night and then the next day he posts in the afternoon sometime. And this is something Neil suggested me as well, my accountability partner. He suggested that I post the next day instead of trying to post every single night and it being kind of stressful and the last thing I have to get done. And I am feeling some resistance towards it, even though it does seem like a pretty good idea. Like sometimes I'll be reviewing the footage and I'll realize that I miss something that I want to say, so then I film myself and fix it up on the spot while it's the same day. And I just like getting it done now that I have all the footage, I just want to post it as soon as possible. So there's that too. Anyways, I don't know if this is COVID or some other just common flu or a cold, but I hope I get better quickly and get back and to my working out and flute playing. Here's my step counter for today. 1% better every day, baby.